Did you see that? Oh my goodness. We're just gonna sneak by that. What the hell? I do not like this at all. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. We're out of here. We are out of here. All right. Welcome to Abiotic Factor. Uh, this game kind of has a Project Zomboid and Half-Life vibe to it, as well as a lot of other games. Uh, but for me, I was getting pretty, it's feeling pretty stale with survival craft games. And when I came across this game, kind of had like a childlike excitement going on, uh, which is pretty good. That usually is a pretty good feeling for me to, what was that? Pretty good feeling for me to put in some hours into a game. Now, I'll probably only have about six hours in this game so far, but really wanted to make a video on it to tell you about it. Um, it's on sale for another day, and I really think that you should check it out if you're a big survival craft person yeah this game has a lot of horror aspects to it and is quite scary um, but yeah let me just kind of give you just walk around the facility a little bit and kind of walk you through what I'm doing now so so we just gained access to the level three and at the start of the game I had to like open a door and there was a guy that was um, pretty scared and um, I thought I was gonna save him, but instead a big enemy busted through the door and I had to kill him. This game has like horror aspects to it and the power goes out and um, there's just a lot of mystery, which is something pretty new to me while playing these kind of games. You can check these computers laying around and there's emails on them. I think it explains some of the lore. I'm not sure what this thing is yet. I don't know. If you look into it, it looks like you can walk through it but I don't know if you just instantly die, I'm not sure. So I'm just gonna stay away from it until we figure out what it is. So we need like key, key cards and stuff to uh, get around. Um, so there's kind of like a puzzle element to the game as well. Here's kind of the main hub so far at the beginning of the game. Uh, did you see that? Yeah, you can you can like hear stuff rumbling around and we come down here and this is kind of where I set up my main base. And I was explaining earlier, I built this crafting table and you have to like plug it in. You can use this to craft like recipes and stuff like that. There's some pretty cool stuff on here and I think you can find more recipes as well. Here's a terminal that I- I perceive a distinct lack of snacks. Oh, my guy's getting hungry, isn't he? Yeah. So here's a terminal that has a, something about crossbows on here. So I'm wondering if there's some sort of uh, crossbows in the game, which I'm sure there is. And I broke my weapon. These guys are little guys compared to some other things that I've seen roaming around in here. There's like some crazy aliens. Yeah, and you just want to make sure to kind of explore around because um, this way you're kind of unlocking the lore to the game as well as finding items that you need to progress, which is pretty cool. Ooh, this pool. I'm afraid to jump in it because I think the water is radiated, but I'm not too sure. Any snacks? Oh, this is making me a little nervous. Yeah, see this? We're like in a big cave. Wow. Oh, there's the tram right there. The tram is missing. Oh, did you see that? Oh my goodness. We're just gonna sneak by that. What the hell? I do not like this at all. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. We're out of here. We are out of here. Alright, can we use this please, please, please? Oh. Oh boy. Oh. Look at those things. My voice is shaking pretty bad right now because that scared me. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, we made the jump. I yeah. perceive a distinct lack of snacks. Okay. I guess we should have bought three, huh? Yeah, exploring these little dark areas is pretty spooky, but I actually think the power might have went out. Okay. I think we unlocked a shortcut. I think that is a pretty good stopping point right there. I just wanted to kind of roam around the game and show you um, 
like I said, I've only played about maybe six hours of this game, and I'm pretty much completely sucked into the environment, and I'm really excited to see uh, where the game goes, and what kind of weapons you can get, how far you can take the crafting, and where the story ends up, and um, yeah, I'm thinking about maybe doing some kind of like let's play style videos on this game yeah i don't know i guess we'll see how this video does um yeah anyway let me know if you're gonna end up getting this game or if you have tried it out uh let me know how you feel about it if you've put a lot more hours into it but yeah i'll see you next time